Have you ever wondered how such an invisible shadow can prevent you from enjoying life to the fullest? Maybe the universe has led you here to recognize these shadows and finally break them through. Fear is a fundamental emotional reaction that is deeply rooted in our survival instinct. It warns us of impending disaster and prepares our body for fight or flight. But while these reactions were vital in the wild, today we often find ourselves surrounded by fears that do not protect us from real dangers, but rather paralyze us. Fear can represent a powerful blockade in our lives that prevents us from decisive actions and important decisions. It anchors doubts in our minds and leaves opportunities unused because we are afraid of failure or of what others might think. It is as if we are trapped in an invisible prison that we have built ourselves. But imagine what could happen if you learn to overcome these fears. In the following chapters, we will explore how you can use universal wisdom to understand your fears, meet them, and finally leave them behind. We will discuss practical steps and strategies that will help you move from fear to action and change your life decisively. Are you ready to take the first step and reduce the power of fear in your life? Let's take this path together. In order to really overcome fear, we must first understand where it comes from. Fear is not just a state of mind, it has both psychological and physiological roots that are deeply rooted in our being. Exploring these origins gives us valuable insights into how we can tackle them effectively. Psychologically, fear often arises from our thoughts and experiences. Our thoughts about future events can trigger uncertainty and fear, especially if we anticipate negative results. These thought patterns can be deeply rooted in our previous experiences, including childhood experiences or previous traumas that have shaped how we see the world and how we respond to threats. From a physiological point of view, fear is a function of our nervous system, especially the autonomic nervous system, which controls our fight-or-flight reaction. When we feel threatened, our body releases hormones such as adrenaline and cortisol, which increase our heart rate and prepare our body for a quick reaction. These hormones are useful in real dangerous situations, but can become problematic if they are released in response to everyday worries or stressors. Stress and environmental influences also play a central role in the development of anxiety. Long-lasting stress, whether due to work pressure, family problems or social tensions, can permanently keep our nervous system in a state of alert, which can lead to fear. Likewise, environmental influences, such as constant exposure to negative news or social media, can increase our level of fear by painting a world full of threats. By understanding these factors, we can begin to develop methods to manage and reduce our fear. In the next chapter, we will focus on how the universe leads us through signs and synchronicities that can help us overcome our fears and live a more fulfilling life. The universe constantly speaks to us, often through signs and synchronicities that can demand our attention as gentle hints or loud calls. Recognizing and interpreting these signs can help us overcome our deepest fears and lead us on a path of healing and personal growth. Signs and synchronicities manifest themselves in many ways in our lives. It could be as simple as seeing certain sequences of numbers repeatedly, encountering certain animals or finding an old friend by chance at a crucial moment. These events may seem random at first glance, but when we look at them in the context of our lives, they can reveal deeper meanings and directions. For example, many people tell that they experience a conspicuous accumulation of such synchronizes, especially in moments of great fear or uncertainty. Such a sign could be a song that contains exactly the words you need at this moment, or a book that is accidentally opened and contains a message that perfectly fits your own situation. These moments are often turning points that encourage us to overcome our fears and take bold steps. The ability to recognize and interpret such signs requires an open and receptive attitude. It's about thinking outside the box of everyday life and seeing the potential for leadership and inspiration at every moment. This can be particularly powerful when we feel limited by fears, as it allows us to see from a higher perspective that we are not alone and that the universe supports us. By learning to pay attention to the signs of the universe, we can change our way of life. Instead of being afraid of the unknown, we begin to see it as part of a larger plan, which we may not yet fully understand, but which we can trust. In the next chapter, we will examine methods of how we can connect with the wisdom of the universe in order to recognize and use these signs even more clearly. As soon as we learn to recognize the signs of the universe, the next question is how we can connect even more deeply with this all-encompassing wisdom. This chapter deals with proven practices and techniques that help us to become more open and receptive to the messages of the universe. These practices allow us not only to overcome our fears, but also to live a life that is richer in insight and fulfillment. One of the most effective methods of opening up to the messages of the universe is meditation. Meditation helps us to break through the noise of everyday life and get into a quieter, more receptive state of mind. 
In the silence of meditation, we can perceive more subtle energies and hints that would perish in the daily hustle and bustle. Regular meditation not only promotes tranquility and clarity, but also sharpens our intuition, which makes it easier for us to feel and follow the leadership of the universe. In addition to meditation, mindfulness is another powerful technique to connect with universal wisdom. Mindfulness teaches us to be fully present in the present moment and to consciously perceive every experience. If we are mindful, we can more easily recognize and appreciate the small wonders of everyday life, which are often considered signs of the universe. Mindfulness can be practiced through simple exercises such as conscious breathing, mindful eating or walking and becomes a tool that helps us to strengthen the connection to the universe in the here and now. In order to deepen these practices, it can also be helpful to surround yourself with like-minded people or to look for a spiritual mentor. The exchange with others who also strive to use the wisdom of the universe can be inspiring and open up new perspectives. Such communities often offer workshops or joint meditation and mindfulness sessions that can enrich and strengthen our practice. By applying these methods and techniques, we open ourselves not only to the wisdom of the universe, but also to a deeper connection with ourselves and our purpose in life. In the next chapter, we will look at concrete steps that lead us from fear to action by using what we have learned to bring about real changes in our lives. After we have learned how to recognize the signs of the universe and use their wisdom, it is time to translate these findings into concrete action. This chapter is dedicated to practical strategies that help you overcome your fears and pave the way for action. Overcoming fear is not a process that happens overnight, but requires patience, perseverance and, above all, feasible steps. A first important step in overcoming fears is to set small, realistic goals. Instead of being intimidated by big and often overwhelming goals, start with small steps that are easier to manage. These can be as simple as keeping a diary in which you write down your thoughts and fears every day, or setting a goal of trying a new activity once a week that is outside your comfort zone. Another practical approach is the application of the so-called, 5-second rule, by Mel Robbins, a technique that aims to overcome paralysis of action. The rule is that if you feel the impulse to start an action, you count to five and then act immediately. This method helps to break the overanalysis mode, which is often triggered by fear, and instead promotes immediate action. Visualization is another powerful technique to overcome fears. By imagining how you successfully master tasks or master challenges, you can strengthen your self-confidence and build positive expectations. These mental images act as motivators and make the desired actions less scary. It is also helpful to seek support from friends, family, or a community who understand and support your aspirations. Sometimes sharing your fears and goals with others can not only open up additional perspectives for you, but also reduce the feeling of loneliness in your fight against fear. Finally, remember to celebrate your progress, no matter how small it may be. Every step you take is a victory over your fear and should be recognized as such. This strengthens your self-confidence and motivates you to continue on your way. In the next chapter, we will deal with case studies that show how others have successfully overcome their fears by using these and similar techniques. After discussing the theory behind overcoming fears through universal wisdom and practical steps, we now want to take a look at some inspiring case studies. These stories of real people who have successfully overcome their fears not only illustrate the application of the techniques discussed, but also offer insights into the diverse ways in which the universe can lead us. Case Study 1, Julia's New Beginning Julia was trapped in a job for a long time that no longer gave her any pleasure. Her fear of the unknown prevented her from quitting and pursuing her passion for graphic design. One day, however, she came across recurring sequences of numbers, especially the 1111, which she interpreted as a sign that it was time for change. After several meditation sessions and mindfulness exercises in which she visualized her fears and future opportunities, she found the courage to quit her job and start a successful freelance career. Today, Julia is not only financially more successful, but also more satisfied with her work and her life. Case Study 2, Mark's Overcoming Public Speaking Anxiety Mark suffered from extreme fear of public speaking, which hindered his professional development. By participating in a workshop, he learned how to use synchronicities in the form of repeated messages or random encounters as motivation. He began to take small steps by first expressing himself in small groups and later going to larger forums. The application of the five-second rule helped him to overcome his moments of fear. Finally, his improved ability to speak in front of groups led to a promotion and a leadership role in his company. Case Study 3, Sarah's Healing Through 528 Hertz Music After a severe separation, Sarah found comfort and healing through regular listening to 528 Hertz music. She reported that this frequency helped to alleviate her sadness and improve her mental well-being. 
Sarah integrated this music into her daily meditation and noticed a significant decrease in her anxiety and a general improvement in her quality of life. These changes motivated her to pay more attention to other aspects of her life, including her physical health and social relationships. These case studies show how the interpretation and application of universal signs as well as the use of specific techniques can help people overcome their fears and bring about transformative changes in their lives. They offer real examples of how understanding and benefiting from the messages of the universe can lead to profound personal growth. In order to make the journey from fear to action successful, it is crucial to use the right tools and resources. These can provide valuable support to understand and practically apply universal wisdom and to deal with fear in daily life. In this chapter, we present a selection of books, courses and digital tools that have been specially designed to assist you in this way. Books. 1. The Universe Has Your Back, by Gabriel Bernstein. This book offers practical instructions on how to turn fear into trust by learning to trust in the signs of the universe. 2. Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway, by Susan Jeffers, a classic self-help book that offers strategies to overcome fear and lead a more fulfilling life. Course. 1. Mastering Fear, an online course that combines techniques from cognitive behavioral therapy and mindfulness exercises to systematically reduce fears and overcome personal barriers. 2. Signs from the Universe, a workshop that deals with how to recognize and interpret universal signs to make important life decisions. Eps. 1. Headspace, this meditation app offers special programs for coping with anxiety that help you find tranquility and manage stressful situations better. 2. Calm, in addition to meditation instructions, Calm also offers music tracks based on healing frequencies such as 528 Hz, ideal for reducing stress and anxiety. Websites. 1. Anxiety.org, a comprehensive resource that provides research results, articles, and tips for managing anxiety disorders. 2. Daily OM, offers daily inspirations and courses focused on personal and spiritual development, including dealing with fear. These resources offer different approaches and perspectives on how to deal with fears and overcome them. They are designed in such a way that they can help both beginners and advanced users on their way. By integrating these tools into your daily routine and using them regularly, you can learn to deal more effectively with your fears and eventually lead a freer and more satisfied life. In the next chapter, we will deal with building a supportive environment that is essential for long-term success in overcoming fears. Creating a supportive environment is crucial for the successful handling and overcoming of fears. This chapter deals with how you can build a community or network that supports you in your process of coping with fear, as well as the important role that social support and mentorship play. A first step towards building such a network is often to actively join communities that deal with personal development, meditation, mindfulness or specific anxiety management strategies. Such groups are often found on social media, but can also be located in local centers, churches, or community centers. Participation in group activities and discussions not only offers valuable resources and learning opportunities, but also strengthens the feeling of belonging and understanding. In these groups, you can meet people who are experiencing similar challenges. Sharing experiences and listening to how others cope with their fears can not only be inspiring, but also offer practical solutions to your own problems. In addition, the regular exchange promotes the feeling of not being alone, which can make an enormous difference in the way you deal with your fears. Mentorship also plays a decisive role. A mentor or coach who has experience in dealing with fears or personal development can offer individual support and help you monitor and reflect on your progress. A good mentor not only offers guidance and advice, but can also serve as a role model on which you can orient yourself. The search for a mentor can be done via professional networks, through recommendations or in the groups already mentioned. In addition, it is important to design your own home as a safe and supportive space. This can mean that you adapt your living space in such a way that it promotes relaxation and tranquility, e.g. by minimizing clutter, adding plants or creating special corners for meditation and mindfulness. A homely environment that radiates tranquility can have a significant influence on how effectively you can cope with stress and anxiety at home. In the next chapter, we will discuss how long-term strategies for coping with fear can be developed to promote and support sustainable changes in your life. After we have established the foundations for a supportive environment and immediate strategies for overcoming fears, it is important to develop long-term plans that promote lasting resilience and sustainable well-being. In this chapter, we discuss the importance of long-term goals and life plans as well as strategies to develop a lifestyle that supports resilience to fear. Setting long-term goals is a decisive step in overcoming fears. Goals not only give us a direction, but also the motivation to work towards something. 
They help to bundle our attention and resources and offer a structure that helps us to overlook challenges and focus on the bigger picture. When defining these goals, it is important that they are specific, measurable, reachable, relevant, and time-bound, smart. These goals should include both small and large aspirations, from professional milestones to personal development goals. In order to achieve these goals, the development of a sustainable lifestyle is crucial. A lifestyle that promotes resilience to anxiety involves the regular inclusion of practices that support physical, mental, and emotional well-being. This includes a balanced diet, regular physical activity and sufficient sleep, but also mental and emotional care through techniques such as meditation, deep breathing, or journaling. These activities help to regulate the nervous system and mitigate the body's stress reactions, which forms the basis for dealing with anxiety. Another important aspect of a sustainable lifestyle is continuous learning and adaptation. Life is constantly changing, and what works today may no longer be effective tomorrow. Therefore, it is important to remain flexible and to research new strategies that can help to deal with these changes. This can mean further training, discovering new hobbies or simply being open to changes in your own routine. Finally, the pursuit of a balanced work-life balance should not be underestimated. Too much stress, whether through work or personal obligations, can exacerbate anxiety. A conscious organization of life to create time for recreation, pleasure and social interactions is crucial not only to survive, but to thrive. In the final chapter, we will summarize the learned principles and techniques and give a call to action to begin the journey from fear to action. We have now embarked on a comprehensive journey through the various aspects of fear management, from the first steps of recognizing and understanding the origins of fear to the use of universal signs and wisdom to long-term strategies for a resilient life. Each of these steps helps to overcome the often paralyzing effect of fear and to lead a more fulfilling, action-oriented life. In summary, the key to overcoming fears lies in the conscious examination of our inner states and the external world. By learning to interpret the signs of the universe and using them in our daily actions, we can not only reduce our fears, but also unfold our full potential. The practical steps we discussed, such as setting small, achievable goals, using meditation and mindfulness, and developing a supporting network, are essential tools on this path. I encourage you to see the discussed techniques and strategies not only as information, but as an impetus to action. Start by implementing small changes in your life and observe how your perception of fear and your reaction to it change. Share your experiences, successes and also challenges with others. Sharing your story can not only help others, but also strengthens your own understanding and determination. Remember that every step, even the smallest, counts. Fear doesn't have to be your constant companion. You have the strength to overcome it and organize your life according to your ideas. Use the wisdom that the universe offers you and turn fear into action. With this closing word, I would like to encourage you to find and go your own way. Use the universal signs as a signpost and the community as a support on your journey. The universe has led you here, now it's up to you to take the next step.